Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. I am moving on to the next autumnal video, fully inspired by the last one. I will link that video here if you missed it. I am using some absolutely stunning glitters and sequins that were sent to me by Yvonne over at Resin Supplies Den. In the last video, you would have seen that I used the leaf sequins. I'm gonna use that and the glitter in today's video. Resin Supplies Den is a Facebook page and they have tons of resin suppliers on there, varying from literally laser cut work all the way up to glitters, anything you could possibly need. So I'm gonna link that below. The mold I'm using is a Molds and Shapes mold. Honestly, I've almost ruined this mold. I've used it that many times. I'm gonna link Molds and Shapes down below alongside your 10% off discount code using my code CCC10. Now this is gonna be a double layer again. Now the first layer, I'm gonna be using the Apex Two Hour Cure, purely for speed. Two hours, like you cannot get any quicker than that in an epoxy resin. This is measurable by volume, so I'm gonna be using my calibrated cup and I don't want much. So again, really easy to use your calibrated cup, it has the measurements there for you. Once my PPE is on, it is time to open these bottles and get them measured out. Now I'm pretty sure I just put like 10 mil of each. So put part A up to number 10 and then part B up to number 20 and that is your color sorted. Now, my original plan here was to go with two different background colors. I said in the last video I might go with a different background, but I'm actually gonna go with a different vinyl this time. I'm going for a chocolate brown and this copper, and it was only when I opened it, I'd never opened this yet, I opened it for the first time and I realized it's not a mica powder, it's a sparkle. You know the super sparkle white that I often use in my videos? It's more of a sparkle glitter than a mica powder and that really wasn't what I was going for. So once I'd mixed it up, I realized it's just not gonna work for me. It's not right. It's not actually really coloring the resin. It's just making it super shimmery and super sparkly, almost glittery. So I decided to mix up my brown. You can see here the difference. You can tell the difference between a mica and something that's not a mica. So once I'd mixed up my chocolate brown mica, I decided to just mix them together. Just put them together and we'll get some kind of coppery shimmer coming through in our brown mica. And look at this, it's absolute perfection. Now I did get these two colors from a company called The Color Cottage. Unfortunately, they're no longer in business and these are no longer available, but any copper and any brown mica powder will do exactly the same job. So sadly, I cannot link these down below. They're just, I've had them so, so long. Again, I didn't mix much because at this point, I'm really only focusing on the circular round pendants and I just needed enough to cover the bottom half of these because they are going to be getting a top coat, of course. As soon as I was happy with my first pour, I did give them all a spray of my 99% alcohol. Now, because I didn't fill these right up to the top, I'm not worried about them pouring out, which can sometimes happen if you fill your mold right up with a dome and you hit it with that alcohol, it actually loose, loosens the surface tension and the resin just pours straight out of the mold. But because it's half, I'm not bothered by it. This is the glitter sequins. Oh my gosh, you would have seen these in the last video if you watched it. If you didn't, go check it out. I'm actually just shaking them, shaking them. What's the word? <laughs> I'm shoving them. I've put them on some paper just for easy distribution. I'm shoving them off of the paper with my finger. I did start using a stick, but that wasn't really as helpful. Um, just to disperse them throughout the bottoms of the pendants. Very, very similar to the last video, if I'm honest, but very different. Like very, very different, but very similar. Almost identical, in fact. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just using this piece of paper just for ease of distribution. I don't want these sequins going up into the circular pendants. I really want them at the bottom of the pendants, like a big pile of autumn leaves that you might you might see in your garden. You know when you rake all of your garden and you rake the leaves and there's this big pile. Now in the last two, I decided to sprinkle over this other glitter that Yvonne sent me, very autumnal glitter. <laughs> I didn't I didn't really plan <laughs> for this much coverage, but look at the chameleon. Guys, it's insane. Insane. 
one minute it's orange next minute it's green it is absolutely stunning the the sequins are just beautiful and they sit so happily on top of the resin they don't sink they don't disappear and it's absolutely perfect because they will fully cure in that resin and his jobs are good and over to the Cricut I went now I wanted individual little IE pendants or key rings. You can use these in any way you want, but I wanted them to be really personalized. You know, I love autumn, autumn love. I was gonna go with so many. I was actually gonna do a different one for each one, but there was, there was, there was a lot, there was too much. So I did two of each or three of each and I'm using HTV Ron vinyl in cream, a dream vinyl dream i cannot explain these are small these are diddy diddy tiny little pieces of vinyl and i was so worried about the weeding process like they were going to be too small for me to weed you all know it's not my favorite thing to do in the world but honestly this vinyl i cannot scream from a higher cliff htv ron standard vinyl beautiful to weed a dream <laughs> okay claire calm down <laughs> they came away beautifully I was able to weed them transfer them and honestly transfer them onto the resin also dreamy however some of these leaves were sitting proud of the surface which gave me an uneven surface onto which I placed the vinyl that is not ideal two things it made it harder for the vinyl to stick because the surface was so bumpy and the second thing being that it gave some bumpy texture to the vinyl, which is not necessarily the look I was going for. It doesn't take away from how much I love these, but I would definitely recommend putting in another clear coat, just a really, really super thin clear coat to take away the bumpy surface that those sequins left. And then you can place your vinyl down and life will be so much easier easier but that is a lesson learned and moving forward I will probably do that now because this vinyl is so diddy and tiny there was a couple of times where I peeled back the transfer tape and it brought a letter with it so just be aware that that can happen as well and just take it real slow and place your letters back down in you have to kind of sometimes do it by hand with a pair of tweezers or just be super super delicate like you can see here it took half the end away so I had to really be careful how I put it back in because the last thing I want to do is have to just go and cut another you know another word or another slogan just for one single pendant but these all came out absolutely un believably well I was so happy they just oh God, it's just the vinyl guys I absolutely love HTV Ron I've got nothing I can even say badly about it but yeah absolutely gorgeous now I will say that the autumn love was it already already designed um on the, it was a file it was already on the cricket when you type in autumn or love autumn autumn love that that there already came up. Whereas all the others I had to type out by hand and choose my font and decide what I was gonna do with that. But the Autumn Love was an already designed file on the Cricut. Everything else was, yeah, like I said, hand typed. Some of the fonts, I can't remember the name, I'll have to zoom in, but the skinny one is called Skinny. <laughs> that is also not a Cricut font. I downloaded that from Da Font. That is the central middle bottom one. That's called the Skinny one of my favorite fonts i wish i did more in that font but you know we have we have forever we have forever to do more in that font next up i'm just giving them all a top coat of the apex resin and i'm going real slow i don't want any spill off i don't want anything coming out and i'm not that fussed about doming them heavily i just want enough of a dome so that when the resin shrinks back, which is something resin does, it's not gonna leave me with a sharp edge. So I will be happy if these cure flat, I'll be happy. If they cure sunken in, ugh, that's when it becomes ag because you have sharp edges and you have to sand them back. But so far, so good. I'm loving them so, so much. This is 24 hours later, time to demold. Guys, I love everything about these. Now, again, they can be key rings or they can be pendants. This is my favourite. This is my absolute favourite. This was a slogan already available on the Cricut Design Space, Autumn 
love because I love autumn. I don't know if you can tell. Can you tell? <laughs> can you tell that I'm an autumn girl and I just can't stand summer? I really just cannot. Sadly, we did have spill off on just one of the pendants. Not ideal and it's a super chunky spill off as well so that's going to take a lot of work to get that back down and we also have an air bubble in this one. I did come up and check after about 20 minutes and there was no spillages, there was nothing to worry about, there were no air pockets, air bubbles so sadly these did occur mm, in between when I left the room and 24 hours later. I love this one as well, I love fall, just gorgeous and I love the way fall just rests over all of the leaves that have fallen from the tree. <laughs> this one here reminds me of Austin Powers. Now like I said I can't remember this font but hopefully I'll see it on my screen and I'll put it on the screen for you guys. This is a already in the Cricut system font but it does remind me of 70s. Very very 70s, very groovy baby, very Austin Powers. This like I said is called the skinny font. This is very much a Ray Dunn dupe font. Love that as well. Wish I did more. I just cannot get enough. I cannot get enough of this colour scheme. They are probably up there with some of my neatest pendants that I've ever done. Let me know your thoughts. I'm obsessed as per freaking usual, guys. I cannot get enough. Let me know if you try this. Tag me. Hashtag Claire made me do it. Thank you so much again to Yvonne for the glitters. Everything is linked below alongside your moulds and shapes code. Everything is there. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.